to me it's his voice and i'm probably wondering what am i doing with this scrap piece of metal <clears throat> well the goal is to make iron filings on the uh cathode over here essentially i'm trying to electroplate steel or iron now this is possible i have done it before but i have never done it without using a membrane you can see there's a lot of gas evolution on the anode. Well, not anymore. I think it's working. Anyway, usually this process ends up with some gas evolution on the anode. Yeah, like it's happening. Whenever this occurs, this is some passivation that occurs due to the film of iron oxide forming. But I think with this voltage, it seems that we are indeed not passivating the metal so there might be some hope for this process although it seems to go in waves like right now see passivates and then after a while it crumbles off then it passivates again it's funny take a look at this the current is all over the place like like it's dropping right but watch it rise once it hits 3.2 amps in no, no, look, look, it's going up again. It's going up. Then it's going down. So there's like passivation, reaction, the passivation again. Which is why when you're trying to make iron filings using without the membrane, I think 50% is the most you're going to get because, gee, look at this. You're going to basically end up with, with, you know, some iron oxide, some iron metal. And that's basically it so it's been a few hours later I've changed the electrode because the other one well it's just a sliver now and I don't want to get to the aluminum but yeah this is a very effective way to basically destroy pieces of iron now you can see over here in the I'm gonna disconnect it for a bit you can see a lot of iron has built up which those would be the iron filings and at the bottom over there since i used magnesium sulfate as my electrolyte mixed with sulfuric just to save cost this is just you know magnesium hydroxide with a bit of iron in it iron doped magnesium hydroxide now if someone has a use for that good but it's just useless iron 3 sulfate is produced in this reaction because of the oxidation direct at the anode Iron-3 will not plate in the cathode. In order to reduce Iron-3 back into Iron-2, you need a piece of iron that is in solution at the same time, which will ensure that any Iron-3 ions will react directly with this, forming back into Iron-2, which then plates into the cathode. In order, You need this in order to actually produce anything. And given that that's a configuration we have, we are really doing a nice job plating all of this. Now I'll try to do a time lapse. should end it here because that right there is more iron 3 than anything even though I've dropped in a lot of uh, stuff over there you can see that there is indeed a buildup of iron 3 ions still so I'm gonna stop this now and see what we've collected so I have uh, put the iron here in some pure ethanol and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna break it apart and uh, have some iron particles suspended in ethanol after that step, we're pretty much left with some iron filings in here. But if you want to get rid of any oxide that has, you know, permeated it or any other byproducts, you have to put a little bit of acid just to dissolve up, you know, what you've got. Well, after dropping some HCl, the powder is a lot shinier. You can see the shiny iron again. But this, uh, this won't last, of course, so I'm going to drain this out and dry our product. Now while filtering this, you have to make sure that you filter it through a lot of excess water. Because if you don't, and this iron indeed ends up becoming pyrophoric, you know, you're gonna end up 
just making a giant whoosh bottle and a lot of stuff will burn down there below which is not good meanwhile if this thing is about to run out then the worst that will happen is well the filter paper catches fire but like that is not as bad as concentrated anhydrous ethanol you know being present down here and catching fire and making a tower of flame or something stupid like that so yes add a lot of water below it will save you so now it's done you see this is this is enough iron for what most people are going to use this shit for as you can see this thing is degrading fast so if you plan to use this for reduction of nitro groups into amines you have to use it fast like you got to use it the moment it's even in the slurry you got to put it into your reaction vessel no i'm not going to use this i came here to prove that it can be done to make active iron for the purpose of reduction of nitro groups someone else is going to do that other step dying me though so here's me with 20 grams of the product most of it is still stuck i do not want to weigh this while dry or at least approaching dryness i'm going to dispose of this quickly because there's it's still soaked in ethanol so yeah <music>